I just want to be my boring, lonely, cynical self that creates content. So... The fuck? So I look like shit and I thought what better way to present myself on this vlogging thing than looking like shit um, because this is gonna be the aesthetic. The aesthetic is going to be butthole, just butthole. The only reason why I look 10% presentable is because I straightened my hair um, last night and I woke up with it straightened but if it was curly I don't know how you guys could cope with this footage. Look at all that shit behind me. Aesthetics. Look at this, I mean, aesthetics. I can't. I love watching people vlog, but I'm not into the, how could I put it? Um, Like fake, uh, just overly like aesthetic, which n nothing wrong with that at all. Like. There is nothing wrong with wanting to polish um, some, you know, a video. Uh, it's just that I personally mostly don't enjoy that type of stuff. I enjoy like the real raw, like just people with like their phones. Like I'm on my phone right now. I'm filming with my phone and um, not to say that I'll always film with my phone, but it's just today. It's just what I was feeling, you know. You know, people like no makeup on, just in their pajamas, just showing their messy room whatever messy house eating leftover taco bell from two days ago like you know instead of like making this whole aesthetic meal that is just like dude nobody fucking eats that way so i just got inspired from watching all these videos and i'm like dude let me just like record like my just like my real life you know i feel like people on my main channel uh well new people that have subscribed say like two years and and on ago i feel like people just don't know me um, I feel like they just know me for the gay reaction type videos that I do. Um, which I would categorize them more as like commentary hybrid with reaction. You know, it's not straight up like reaction, but anyways, that's whatever. I feel like this is all over the place. I can't. So basically, yeah, this is just me explaining in way more sentences than needed that I just want to like vlog just regular life. Like if I'm not trying to be like a fucking Casey Neistat or a fucking vlog squad, whatever the fuck. I've literally never even seen a video of theirs, but I feel like out of breath just watching like a clip or something. I want to show like just reality and I want to show it for people that are into that. Like I'm not going to try to be anything else. And if you don't like slower real life type vlogs, like then I guess this isn't going to be for you. But yeah, I'm just trying to just trying to show reality um and the reality is speaking of reality not that i don't leave my house but i'm in my house a lot and that is because my job which is youtube is from home and that job is very time consuming basically my whole week is filled with this job right that i do at home so like i'll post a picture on instagram of me like out somewhere not in my house it never fails people be like oh my god like you actually like leave your house lol i'm not gonna lie it kind of annoys me a little bit because like yeah i'm at my house a lot but i also do things outside of my house which actually i do document so i don't know why they like not why don't you comment that on the pictures where i'm outside my house i'm not like that i gotta document everything i do and everything you know like whatever when i'm out and about doing stuff i'm like i'm doing the stuff i'm in the moment like i'm not really thinking about like documenting it you know what i mean but anyways but like with that being said i am at my house a lot like i said it's my job like it's my job to be at my house <laughs> but anyways oh my god like literally what is this i don't know um today i have to edit for my six sad podcast channel um i'm doing a scientology video and there's issues with that i i'm literally so mad the video we recorded didn't have any audio it had audio from the camera but not like our microphones our podcast microphones so basically today i'm, I'm trying to salvage that that podcast which is not going to be a podcast any longer i'm going to try and make it more like what's the word documentary not documentary style um 
I'm just basically gonna try and like insert like footage and like whatever I don't know more, just more edited that's what I'm gonna try and do um this is my laptop that I edit on it's not really stuck on there like I couldn't do the commitment of like really sticking it on there I don't know if you guys can tell I didn't even notice it was upside down do you guys want to freaking see what I got on Amazon oh my god sports bras how exciting you guys how exciting is this sports bras I just want to be my boring, lonely, cynical self. Cat food. I spend a lot of money on cat food because I have to feed my three cats. And I have to feed, um, I feed this stray cat that I've been trying to catch for like over a year. Sweetheart. I love him. Well, I think it's a him. I haven't, I've been trying to peek at its nether bits. I cannot figure out if it's a guy or a girl, but... I'm going with guy. I just it's just what I'm feeling. I don't want to like gender it, but it's just the vibe I'm getting. I also got this from Amazon as well. Mod Podge. These stickers. I got this little like magazine holder and um is hideous. It's like the only one they had at Walmart. That and like a black one. And I thought like let me put Lisa Frank stickers all over this motherfucker. And I did that, but they's just they're peeling off cuz like the material in which the magazine holder is made out of is very like shiny and i don't know just they're just coming off and so i thought like i'm gonna mod podge it i don't know if you guys know what that means or is but you basically can cut out like magazine clippings or whatever stickers whatever and you get this glue type of substance and you just paint it with like a foam brush or something and it dries like clear. Well, I'm hoping it's gonna work. I don't know, I've never done this. Uh, I'll show you guys what the thingy looks like. You see how it's coming off? They're, like they're all peeling off. Do you see that? You can see that there a little bit too. But I didn't even have enough stickers to fill it up, all up. So that's why I bought extra ones. That way I can just do, do my thing and see if it works. Like DIY, like all the DIY channels right now are reevaluating their channels careers and features you know but yeah I have like uh, old 90s magazines in here that I used to love as a kid I actually when I say love I mean like I was I didn't have these like my mom and dad did not buy me this stuff but it's stuff I wanted you know um, uh, this is a scholastic thingy and um, yeah this is just a book this Spice Girls magazine is actually mine from back in the day but yeah see I'll show you one see that's cool. Anyways, yeah, maybe I'll update you guys on a later vlog if that turned out well. <laughs> so, I don't know. Let me let me know. Like, give me a thumbs up if this is, like, your jam. Like, I don't know. Like, is this your jam? Is this your thing? Like, these type of vlogs? I don't know. Be honest, too. I mean, like, if you don't like it, I, and this is in the best way possible, but if you don't like it, that's too bad. <laughs> Ooh, I got the new Assassin's Creed Odyssey where I could be a gay-ass bitch, a whole gay bitch. There's things I like and things I don't like. I do like that we can pick choices and situations, like, I can either do this or that, and it affects, like, the game. I like that. Let me just say, I've just played it for like 45 minutes, so it's, I don't know, but there's been points where it's too much like going and talking to this person and going and talking to that person and cutscene number one and cutscene number two. It's like, I just I wanna, wanna fucking, fucking murder. murder. I wanna I murder. murder. I don't like games where you, there's a story and this and that and you get, and, and you talk to this person and that person. Like, no, I just wanna kick ass. Like, that's just all I wanna do. Like, you know what I mean? I like these types of games. A lot of people find these to be boring because they're very like historical and like not like wacky enough, but I like realistic kind of games like as realistic as you can get like I don't like like zombies and monsters and that I'm just so self-conscious of how hideous I look so um I'm in my kitchen now and what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna recreate a Starbucks drink I'm coming for Paula Deen's brand by the way no if ands or buts about it straight up coming for Paula Deen's brand I've been obsessed with this drink it's called the D S mango S <laughs> mango dragon fruit refresher yeah and it's like water based, but I saw online that people were like, oh, swap out the water for coconut milk. Mind blowing. I mean, it was already mind blowing. I was wanting to try it for like a long time. Every time I went to order it, they didn't have it. Like, they're just like, we ran out of it. We ran out of it. I think they just use such a aesthetically pleasing, unlike this vlog, aesthetically pleasing picture that it was just irresistible. Like, 
every time that I was in the drive-thru, I saw that picture, I'm like, I have to have it. Like, <clears throat> this is how I saw online that supposedly this is how you make it. So, three-fourths of a cup. Oh my god, like, seriously, Food Network is shaking right now. Three-fourths cup of the juice, coconut milk. A cup of that. Why is it thick? It's like hollow thick. <laughs> it's looking like this so far. Then you get some of this. It's uh, vanilla syrup. I need just a little splash. Dude. Well, like a pump. Half a pump to a pump. I don't know. Was that a pump? I don't fucking know. This I got on Amazon. And it's dragon fruit powder. You're supposed to get not like this full tablespoon, but like like half about that much it turns the waters so pretty just shake it somehow if you don't have a, a mason jar just whatever do it with a spoon or something but i like doing this because it's just like easier it's like a shake weight like shake weight is gonna sue me right now this is literally a shake weight <laughs> so while i'm shaking this i did this drink um i actually instagrammed it um but what happened was um instead of coconut milk i had uh almond milk it didn't taste it tasted like good but it didn't taste like the drink at starbucks so i finally got coconut milk and this is basically like the moment of truth if this doesn't taste like the starbucks thing i'm gonna be fucking pissed so you just like put ice in it i'm gonna shake it again what the hell is it like we're crazy moment of truth oh my god it's really similar i wouldn't say it's 100 percent. very very similar Yas, oh my god. Literally, just the high of like, I'm not gonna pay like four or five dollars per drink and I get much more in this. It's like heroin right now. I'm like, I'm on heroin. Literally, this is the only aesthetic thing I'm gonna do today is like put this metal straw in. Like, is that aesthetic enough? I don't know. So I have a crisis. Um, I know a lot of people don't use Tumblr that much anymore, but there's still people that do. I like to cling on to shit till it's like dead and buried. Um, but anyways, um, I'm trying to log in and it's freaking saying this email doesn't have a tumblr account like the fuck like Spoiler alert. I got hacked <laughs> I've been using the same one for like, I don't know since 2011. I don't know. I'm trying to like I'm emailing I don't know. I'm like emailing them back and forth. But anyways, I gotta I really gotta edit now Fuck, can you be any letter bitch? Not only did I lose audio on that Scientology podcast, but now I can't find the footage. It seems to have been deleted. It was in one of these. I know it was in one of these, the 64 um, cards. Literally, at this point, I'm just over it. I'm fucking over it. I, I need a little sip. Oh, I need a little sippy sippy. Sippy sippy. I wish there was hard drugs in that. I'm so pissed. I think Maya and I just have to forget about that Scientology one as of right now, cause I don't know what the fuck. I don't know where it went. All right, I'm gonna go like, I'm gonna go die. The next real, real podcast, hopefully, fingers fucking cross. Um, the next one's gonna be um, the Salem Witch Trials. We thought it's October, like it's perfect, you know. Um, I think I just have to focus on that. I have to film that this weekend and oh, it just sucks, dude. I'm so mad. So I'm gonna feed the cat and I have protective gloves. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. Something. She always wants to come out here. Something. So yeah, there's the uh, food. I'll come bring him like kibble later, but um, he mainly likes this. Like he doesn't touch like kibble that much. So this bitch is in the neighbor's fucking porch. Compton, how embarrassing. I'm not filming it. Get over here, you trespassing bitch. Compton. Compton, that's not your house. Excuse me. That's him asking for breakfast. Like, oh my God, look at this, look at that. That's not how you ask for food, you ass. Bitch. He's huge, you guys. You guys have no clue how huge he is. Oh my god, I'm gonna insert a picture of me holding him for my Instagram. He's huge. Like, I just got bit by, like, low-key, like, a fucking saber-toothed tiger. This is fucking crazy. This is crazy. What is the school? Sorry. Uh, this is Jay. Nice to meet you. Has he offered to withdraw? Can I withdraw from the 
just a little quick segment. I have a lot of issues with this um, series on Jake Paul. Um, I have said it on Twitter and various other websites. I don't think I have to go that deep because I think the same problems that I'm having with it is the same problems that the internet is having with it. Um, I just fucking hate Jake Paul. Just the way that sociopaths are being portrayed, you know, like demonized. Is that the word? I don't know. Whatever. Um, I just don't like it. And don't get me fucking started on the better help scam. I went in a rabbit hole like a week ago or something and wow, just search the better help scam. It's a fucking scam. And, and, and uh, the reason why I bring it up is because Shane Dawson, uh, that was his sponsor, I think for the first video or something. And Katie Morton's a part of the damn, well, I was gonna say the scam allegedly, but um, she's like interweaved in there. I don't know how, but she seems to be a somewhat a part of it anyways whatever i'm gonna make food and probably watch this later or maybe maybe keep watching i don't know it's just it's painful I, I like shane dawson but this one's painful for me it's fucking painful to watch jake fucking paul even though it's just whatever and it's like i already knew all this shit like a like a year and a half ago um but i get like not everybody knows all this shit it's just i went into a deep jake paul research like i like to research things i hate um and so I hate Jake Paul. And so, yeah, like a year and a half ago or whenever the fuck all that shit was going on, I went and I did a deep dive, man, on everything Jake Paul, the shit he's done. And so that's part of why I'm not really enjoying this because I already like knew everything, but that's not Shane Dawson's fault. Like he has to set it up. Like most people probably don't research Jake Paul because that's fucking painful. I'm, I'm still suffering. I don't know. I'm gonna make food. So I made this concoction yesterday. It's a, it's a vegan meal. I'm not vegan, but I like to eat a lot of vegan things. Uh, I'm not even gonna go into what it took to make this, but it's quinoa with a concoction of a lot of things and a lot of spices. I made this, um, it's called corn pico. I don't know, I, I don't know if that's an official term, but it's, uh, you marinate this basically in lemon, or lime, sorry. It's really good. And I'm gonna put an avocado and this uh, tahini dressing that I made. If you don't like avocado, like honestly, don't speak to me. We have nothing in common and might as well just sever the relationship right now, you know what I mean? My favorite store, um, grocery store is Grocery Outlet and they have this stuff, um, super cheap store. Um, they always have different things that like, it's just like overstock from companies. And this is the cilantro lime vinaigrette. It's really good actually, I should've got two. I think it was like 99 cents, like that's fucking cheap. I could bathe in this. You know what else I could bathe in? Tahini dressing. This is just, you just buy tahini, put lime in it, a little scoop of pre-diced uh, garlic, and a little water. Just mix it up real good, and you got this. Check it out. Yes. And that is my meal for today. Is this aesthetic? It's a little aesthetic. It's like flirting with aesthetic. It's a little fleeky, a little aesthetic-y. Yes, oh my god, look at that. Just flavor, flavor town. We're going to flavor town. Like Guy Fieri is in the hospital right now. I'm going to accompany my meal with this, uh, what is it called? Sparkling ice, black raspberry. This is what LaCroix wishes they could be. This is like a, one of those like zero everything drinks. So it's like zero sugar, zero fat, zero calories, whatever. Um, except it has a little something called flavor. It doesn't just taste like TV static or like when my arm falls asleep. Again, I got it at a grocery outlet. They were like two for a dollar. Tastes like Jesus. Hopefully I don't vomit. Like Jake Paul's on my screen and I'm eating. That's dangerous, dangerous combo. They're talking about his dad. Oh my god, he just said my dad's a weirdo. That's crazy, rewind. My dad's a weirdo. His dad is a freaking allegedly pedo. They found all these emails with underage women, smex tapes, all that. I hope Shane Dawson talks about it. I don't know if he is or not, but... You know, instead of bringing uh, 
Katie Morton, he should have bought, you know, Chris Hansen from Dateline NBC, you know what I'm saying? All right, I'm gonna end it here just because um, I'm stressed with this footage shit and I just, I, I don't have time to be doing this with you guys right now. I just, the time is not with me, the time has escaped me and I'm, my nerves are fried and um, they're deep fried um, and sauteed with um, a reduction of uh, butter and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go, I hope that you guys like this and if you did please subscribe please give a like um i'll probably do more um i was gonna say it depends on if you guys like it or not but i don't like i don't really care so bye